Let's open up my notes. I have some notes for this episode. And I'm going to go on the notes. What's going on, everybody? It's Joe from Passion Unchained. I'm here to help you build a life that you love that's based off of you, what you want, not what others want. And like I said in the previous video, one extremely important part of that is how do you get in charge of your schedule? Nobody else should be in control of your schedule. You should be in control of your schedule. And I have a few stories about why that's extremely important in the last video. Today's video is how do I, um, is, is a specific thing about how to um, make Uber work for you because I do Uber so that I can be in charge of my schedule. Um, if you wanna have a little bit more a little bit more insight into why being in charge of your schedule is so important. The last video is great. This video has to do with something that, it's, it's, it applies to life as a whole. And when you understand this concept, life gets so much easier. You become so much more in control of what happens to you, what you get from life, and what you are able to do in life. Um, you're much more in control of yourself. Uh, so let me... Exp express this. Um, those of you who have been in recovery understand this serenity prayer. Um, I have not been in recovery. I do not have uh, addiction or addiction issues, but I love this um, this prayer. It's and I'm not even I'm not even Christian. I'm Jewish, but it's there's such wisdom in this, and it goes like God get, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Um, and wow, like just wow, that, that has guided me through so much in my life. Let's break this down. Accept the things you cannot change, courage to change the things you can, serenity, accept serenity, courage, and wisdom. Um, I'm gonna tell you a story. When I first started Uber, I wanted to pay my bills, and I wanted to do so um, easily with being in control in charge of my schedule and being able to um, pay off my bills, pay off my debts, etc., and live life freely and fully. I first started to, I first decided, okay, I want to make X amount per month, which means X amount per week, which means X amount per day, right? And I tried to do a certain amount every single day. Now, I quickly realized that Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I could make less, and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday, I could make a lot more. And uh, Friday and Saturday were the high earning days, so I, I changed the weekly amount. I broke it up to like a little bit on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, a little more on Thursday, a ton on Friday and Saturday, and then a little less on Sunday. So it was like, boop, like that, so that I could make sense with the days of the week. And even then, though... Like say I had to make, I don't know, 200 in, on Saturday, right? And it was 8 p.m. and I had gotten, I don't know, 120 bucks, right? Now I'm looking at my, um, at the amount and every single ride, I'm like, oh, I hope it's this amount, I hope it's this amount, I hope it's this amount. Taking up a bunch of brain space to try to add things up and predict where should I go to get longer rides? Where do I go to get shorter rides? Um, how do I get the best bang for my buck when it comes to driving? And um, it took uh, so much mental energy and mental space and I wasn't really in control of it all. And that's key. I wasn't in control of it all. And I ran myself into the ground being frustrated about everything. Um, being so mentally invested in how much money I got for each and every single ride. So, um, what I was doing wrong, Serenity Prayer says, God grant me the wisdom. Fuck the idea, like you don't, need, you don't need to believe in God. I don't believe in God. But just say, take that word out. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. I didn't have any control over how much each ride was. I had some control over, I had control over when I would go online. I had control over when I was going offline. I had control over how long I stayed online, etc., on which rides I accepted and which rides I rejected. 
But in the process of focusing on, focusing on something I don't have much control over, which is the amount of money I get, I have indirect control over it, but not a direct control over it. It got me very mentally invested and frustrated. So I switched. I switched to making money um, by deciding how many rides I would do each day. I would approximate how much I got over, like, like say in a week I did 100 rides and I ended up getting like $1,000, something like that. That's somewhat reasonable for Uber. That's pretty reason, very reasonable for Uber. Um, so that's about $10 per ride, right? So I'm like, okay, if I want to get $1,200 in the week, I need to do mm, 120 rides. Okay, let me, I know on Monday I can do less, etc. And then I would extrapolate it out. Okay, Monday I have to do, I don't know, 10, Tuesday 10, Wednesday 15, Thursday 20. You know, I would extrapolate it out per the week so that I could get what I needed to get. Very quickly, I realized that I had a lot more control over how many rides I would do. The amount of money that I get per day, if I was looking at the dollar amount, that goes up and down per ride. And I don't, like, say it's 8 p.m., I need 20 bucks. I don't know how many rides that will be. I can't predict and control my schedule as much if I need to make 20 bucks versus if I need to do two rides. You know, if two rides, if they're both short rides, I get like six bucks on those rides, I've still made my goals. And over the long time, when I have a lot of, of, of rides, I know how much that averages out to be, right? So that helped me a lot when I switched from, when I switched from how much money I need to make X amount of dollars per day to I need to do X amount of rides per day. I focused a lot more on what I can control. And it gave me back control over my schedule. It was so freeing. And I was so much more present, more in the moment, less in my head worrying about things and more like, okay, I just need to do three rides. I know I can do three rides before I sleep tonight. But if it was like, I need to make 50 bucks, I don't know if I can do that. Maybe I could, maybe I couldn't. Maybe somebody will tip a large amount, I don't know. But if I focus on the rides, it took a lot of the mental energy out of the equation and allowed me to do what I wanted to do. So in conclusion, um, for Uber specifically, focus on what you can control in my experience, um, having my experience doing over 7,000 rides between Uber and Lyft and doing, um, and doing this for over five years or almost five years, um, focusing on the, uh, the number of rides you do per day is much better for your consistency and your earnings in the end than focusing on how much money you make every day. So, um, and then in the abstract, the concept is the serenity prayer. Make sure you control what you can and accept what you can't, and know the difference between the two. I hope this helped you um, free yourself from the binds of a lot of things that you might be doing that control, uh, lock yourself into um, caring about things you can't control. And if you want to make money in a way that get, keeps you in charge of your schedule so that you don't have to be at the whims of somebody else, that you're in control of what you do every hour, then talk to me. I have a link in the description below to book a call. I coach people to make money in ways that keep you free of um, external control and in charge of your schedule. Uber being the easiest and quickest and fastest way, I will coach you to make your living, paying all your bills and paying off your debts and making extra money by being in charge of your schedule. So go ahead, click that link, book a call with me. I'm excited to talk to you and until next time.